Hello again, my name is Chris Russo with 123soulcash.com. I buy houses cash and as condition closing on the date of your choice. I deal with all types of situations. I have a lot of experience. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I used to be in the mortgage company, so now I, I know a lot about mortgages. Uh, I used to buy and sell properties. I used to be a realtor. And now I'm an investor. I'm, I'm buying properties. Sometimes I fix them up, resell them. Sometimes I sell them to other investors. Sometimes I fix them up and rent them out. Uh, let me tell you about a property that I'm buying right now. It is in North Lauderdale. The person saw my ad on TV and she gave me a call and said, Chris, I was wondering if you could buy my mom's property. Uh, it's an estate property. So my, her mom died and it's her, her sister, and her brother. And I gave her an offer. So that sounds like a good offer. It was built in, let me see, set, uh, 1975. I think the offer is around 280. And 1975, and it's a, uh, let me see here, three bedroom, two bath, 1,255 square feet. And it needs work. Let me see, it needs a roof for sure. Needs uh, new bathrooms, needs updated kitchen. So it's kind of dated, the property. So you know, it, needs, it needs a lot of work. And she goes, Chris, I know, you know you're an investor and you're gonna buy it cheaper than what's out there, but she wants to sell it quick and she doesn't want to list it with the realtor and then hopefully find a buyer, and then the buyer would have to qualify, and then also the property would have to qualify. Me being in the mortgage business, I told her, first of all, if it needs a new roof, chances are it's not gonna qualify with a mortgage company. They're gonna ask you to put a new roof before they can give a mortgage. That's a good idea. So she said, yeah, the best thing is she wants to do is just sell it quick cash. She knows you know, that I'm gonna buy it lower than the value, and then I'm put work in it, money and time, and the market is changing now, it's going the other way. So, you know, I'm taking a risk, but I'm willing to take the risk. And I gave her a fair price and she thought that was a very good price. Thing is, it's an estate property, it's going through probate. Now, she called me before she hired an attorney. I said, hey, let's go with my attorney. He's great. He can let me do it as, as quick as five weeks. Each case is different. If there's like one property involved and it's a homesteaded property and um, there's nothing, not too much involved, it can be done as quick as five weeks. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but it's, uh, but you know, it can be done very quickly. Well, anyway, she already chose her own, her own attorney. So, okay, fine. So I'll deal with that. And so I gave her the offer. She's ready to go. And I, so she just waited for her attorney. And I think in this past week, she had a conference call with the attorney and the attorney told her, listen, we're almost ready. So they're, I can believe they're waiting for what's called the authorization to sell. Again, I'm not an attorney from my experience in dealing with appropriated property. I know a fair share of you know what's going on in appropriated uh, property. So I told her, yeah, that, that is correct. And so we're just waiting. So he gets the authorization. She already has my contract in hand. Once she's ready to give authorization, she's ready to sign it and, and for me to buy the property. And it's a nice property in a nice uh, neighborhood and I'm looking forward to this it's, uh, for the rehab and then probably most likely probably uh, resell it. Uh, again, you know, she called me from TV. She likes the way I, you know, speak and my knowledge. And she goes, Chris, you know, as soon as it's done, we're gonna call you and we're gonna get this going. She already spoke to her sister and, and her brother also. So this is a probated property. So if, if for some reason, you know, uh, it's an estate probated property and they don't have an attorney. What I'm willing to do is I'll tell you what, you don't have to pay anything up front. You can pay that uh, once you get your proceeds because I'm by purchasing the property. That's what my attorney is willing to do. Sometimes, you know, they don't have the money. So sometimes they have zero money and at least they got to pay for the hard costs, which can be like three, four, five hundred dollars. So, so I normally do is pay for that up front also. So I try to make it as easy as possible because I know it's painful for them. There's memories their mom or siblings or father died and they just want to get it over with. So I try to make it as easy as possible. So that's what I could do for, you know, sellers since I have a lot of experience and um, and th that's what happened with this one. So it's, it seems like a fair easy one. You know, it should close probably once they get the authorization within 30 days and, um, and that's it. So that's the, uh, the property that I'm buying lately and, um, and I have a few others that are interested in selling also. In fact, I have like 11. 
and um, everyone has their own situation. This one's waiting for the attorney to look, overlook the documents. I have another one um, waiting for the, I think the daughter. I have another one who's a code violation. I have so many going on and I'm, I'm staying in touch with them. I call them every month, staying in touch with them to see, you know, if there's anything I can do, let me know. But um, once they're ready, I'm most likely they're gonna go with me. Okay, so that, that's it for today. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next video.